All right, next we're asked to uh, express this vector, P1, P2, from this initial point to this terminal point in this form, V1 times the uh, standard unit vector I plus V2J plus V3K. Um, so what these I, J, and K are, these are our standard unit vectors. So if we've got our uh, three-dimensional space here, this is uh, our y-axis, this is our x-axis, this is the z-axis. The uh, I is a unit vector, it's a vector of, of length one in the direction of the x-axis. So this, let's call this a length length one, this vector right here would be uh, the vector i. And then uh, j would be a unit vector out this direction. And then k would be a unit vector in the z direction. And these little arrows above i, j, and k indicate that they're vectors. Um, and the the nice thing about i, j, and k is that by combining them, by uh, multiplying them by a scalar and then adding them together, we can, we can come up with any vector that we want. So, um, so we're asked now to express this vector from this point to this point in this form as a linear combination of unit vectors. So um, this v1, v2, v3, these are the same v1, v2, v3 that we would find in component form. Remember our component form just looks like this. And this is, this is the same thing. So uh, these are the same v1, v2, and v3 that we use in component form. So v2, or sorry, v1 first, uh, just as we did in component form, v1 is the distance that we've traveled along the x-axis. So this is x2 minus x1, which is 5 minus 3, which is 2. Uh, v2 is going to be y2 minus y1, which is negative 2 minus 2, which is negative 4. And then v3 is z2 minus z1, which is 2 minus negative 1, which is 3. And so our vector, P1, P2, is going to be uh, this V1, 2, times our unit vector I, um, minus 4 times our unit vector J, plus 3 times our unit vector K. And that's our answer in that form.